Roadhouse. The new Roadhouse is here starring Jake Gyllenhaal, but we're not watching that. We're watching the Patrick Swayze one, and then we're going to watch the one with Jake Gyllenhaal. So check that one out when it comes out. Anyway, let's get into this one. Here we go. Is Patrick Swayze actually a martial artist, or was he IRL? Well, he's half Asian, so it's in his blood. Is he really? Could have kept that going the whole movie. <laughs> Yeah, didn't you know he's half Japanese? Swayze. I was like, what? Swayze is a Japanese name. There's no way. He looks super white. This dude's having fun. Look at that. I think wow. that dude is Patrick Swayze. That, that's not Patrick Swayze. Is it not Swayze. Patrick Swayze? Wow. They're not all the same, Achara. No, look at his hair. Okay, never mind. Racist. Sam Elliott's in this too? You know who Sam Elliott is? Yes. He's got the voice. There he is. There. Not look at the dancing. Hair. No, okay, fine. And definitely not dirty. Well, we're missing out if we're not watching Asian. Patrick Swayze dance. If Emma Stone could pass for half Asian. Whoa. Oh, goodness. Why did you kick? I mean, to be fair, she did try and stab your hand. This is a very rough bar. It's time for you gentlemen to leave. We're just having a little fun. No one's Sorry. laughing, though. It's not fun if you're not laughing. <laughs> Oi! <gasps> I think I can take you. Oh, I think you don't know what Outside. you're talking about. Okay. Oh, look at those pants. I love those pants. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what? You're going to ruin your lovely trousers. Hey, Moose Lips, get back here. Moose Lips? Seven dwarfs or something? Seven dwarfs or something? That's so dumb. You got your seven dwarves or something? Name's Dalton, right? Let's go. Uh -huh. Frank Sus. Tillman. I have a little yeah. club outside of Kansas City called the Double Doos. Okay. What is the symbolism of that name? I just think of poos. Dalton, you all right? Just a scratch. By the way, Oscar, bandstand's all yours. What's that supposed to mean? I'm out of here. Oh. Oh. Just like that. No loyalty. You know, I thought you'd be... Uh, bigger? Bigger. Don't you know, let his size fool you. I was thinking something about that, you know, but I was like, eh, it's, it's the it's 80s. 80s. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I thought he might have been more ripped, but you know what? It's not the size of the martial artist that kicks. It's the size of the kick in the martial artist. Yes. What well, I look like a valet? Keep it. It's yours. Hmm? Don't look a gift car in the mouth. We're so good at sayings. <laughs> <laughs> Heckerhead. It's wild to me that this is the same producer as The Matrix. Whoa. She woke up like that. Hey, vodka rocks. <laughs> they picked the like dirtiest looking dude they could find <laughs> no. for this. Oh, 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 oh. Oi! <laughs> Get out of here, Peckerwood. Oh, way to call back. I'm Carrie Ann. Hi, Carrie you Ann. Need anything. Anything. <laughs> Thanks, man. So you played pretty good for a blind white boy. Oh, he's blind? Yeah, and I thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> Aw. Do you know who that is? Who? Don't. Oh, this is fun. I could get down to this. Should have paid up front. You don't let people touch the goods without paying up front. Uh-oh. Wow. Wow. This is getting wild. He's starting to feel like this was not a good investment. Well, Patrick Swayze is just observing the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got to get the lay of the land and figure it out. Just figure out what you're up against. Oh, even the oh, lady. Oh, the lady participating. For a very progressive movie. Whoa. <laughs> nice. That's so chill, like James Bond. And meanwhile, the band is just like, we're still playing. Oh, my gosh. How's your aim? Oh my gosh! Whoopsie! <laughs> <laughs> that was comical. You gonna help us out or not? I'll let you know. I heard you had balls big enough to come in a dump truck, but uh, you don't look like much to me. Looks gonna be deceiving, pal. It's Dalton character. What's his story? Story is, you f with him and he'll seal your fate. So far, he hadn't shown me shit. Yeah. Oh, this guy looks like a, She's a runner. <laughs> cliche, cheesy car salesman. Yeah. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. That's exciting. Are we buying it for I'll that it. alone? Yeah. Did you even do a test drive? Not okay, I mean, I guess he knows his way around. He's got a hook for a hand. He better not wipe his ass with the wrong hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, gl a glove oh. hook. A hook glove. Morning. <laughs> you the one who's got a room to rent? Arr. You honest? Yes, sir. 
expect me to believe that? Oh, it's actually quite nice. Okay, this is cute. Let's take it. <laughs> what? Is this for him? Is he like Commando? Who are you? I swear he does that just to piss me off. Oh, he's like a rich neighbor. Brad Wesley. Brad. Look at his nice suit and hat. Look, Ugh, we hate him. You like horses, do you? They like me. You wouldn't steal them, would you? No, sir. What does he expect someone to say when he asks if he's honest? Yeah, exactly. Are you honest? Nope. Well, at least you're honest. This is a new double deuce. I put a lot of money and time into this. To protect my investment, I've hired the best damn cooler in the business. Oh. Morgan, you're out of here. Wow. What the fuck are you talking Why? about? You don't have the right temperament for the trade. Oh. You asshole. <laughs> right away. I'm telling you straight. It's my way or the highway. So anybody wants to walk, do it now. I'd listen to him. People who really want to have a good time won't come to a slaughterhouse. And we've got entirely too many troublemakers here. But a lot of the guys who come in here, we can't handle one-on-one. -on -one. That's why you hired me. All you have to do is follow three simple rules. One, never underestimate your opponent. Expect the unexpected. Okay. Take it outside. Never start anything inside the bar unless it's absolutely necessary. And three, be nice. Come on. How are you supposed to be nice? If somebody gets in your face and calls you a sucker, I want you to be nice. Okay. I'm learning so much about being a bouncer right now. It's nothing personal. Uh-huh. And called a sucker in personal? No. I have to have these rules every day with you, so. Why don't you put them into practice? Mama. A charge is regular to be calling me cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Uh oh. I want you to be nice until it's time to not be nice. How do you know when you've crossed the threshold? How are we supposed to know when that is? You won't. I'll let you know. Oh, okay. Now we're all waiting for that moment when he goes, it's time to not be nice. Oh my. I don't know if the structure of that table is gonna... Whoa. Be nice, be nice. Nice, nice. Oh. Oh. There we go. <laughs> the girl's like, whoa. Name Stalin. Oh, hello. He's fired. Yeah. Your history. Fired. <laughs> but I'm on my break. <laughs> Stay on it. Does he carry on? I would. I'm fired anyway. <laughs> like, might as well have some fun on the way out. You're going through a bottle every 30 minutes. You're skimming the till for six shots a bottle on drafts one every 10. So? So? So consider it severance pay. Take the train. I didn't hear you say that. He said. Well, I'm saying it now. Everything he says goes. You sure? What does he know? Get out. <laughs> Who's going to run the register? Oh. Well. Yeah, that's why he bought a shittier car. Yeah, what's up with that house? It's like a... A time before a, noise canceling party headphones. House? That guy's not even got his pants on properly. Ah, uh, the helicopter guy. Brad. Yeah. Brad Jerkoff, whatever his name is. You fired the bartender, Pat. He was skimming. <laughs> you should not have done that, Dalton. Why? Yeah, why is that? Just He's connected. Shouldn't have, that's all. <laughs> she should be specific. Yeah, exactly. I just think I'm looking at a dead man. Though. Seems everywhere I go, I hear that same joke. Yeah, well, something tells me you bring it on yourself. He's just a good dude. I want you to oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Get... He was so chill about it. Yeah. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> didn't even skip a beat. He didn't even, like, try and go on his correct side. It's like, fine, you want to drive like that? That's rich confidence. I know. Hey, like, they'll move. How long are you going to be in town? Not very long. It's what I said 25 years ago. Oh, dear. Really? What happened? Oh, I got married to an ugly woman. <laughs> Don't ever do that. It just takes <laughs> the energy right out of it. Oh, dear. <laughs> she left me, though. Found somebody even ugly than she was. That's life. <laughs> God. Oh, Brad. Yeah, what's Brad? up with you? Why do you even live here? 
Brad Wesley. You see his property? It was yeah, huge. Yeah, I saw it, but like... He's working at Double Deuce. Ah, oh, terrific. Hope you're going to clean that place up. Bad element over there. Well, anything I can do for you. Thanks, Red. Stay on your side of the road? Yeah. And Mr. Tillman may own this bar, but the liquor he serves is supplied to him by Brad Wesley. Oh. Pat McGurn oh. is in the employ of Mr. Wesley, his uncle. Oh. You see, I'm staying, and you're going. No. Oh, really? That's right. Sit down. Whoa. That's a big knife. Where was he hiding that thing? That's crazy. What are you afraid of? Me? No. He's afraid of what he's ha- going to have to do to you. Yeah, exactly. He's afraid of hurting you. Oh, dang. Uh-oh. What? What? Oh my. Everybody got big knives. But that oh, knife dang. looks small with him holding it. So now what? That guy supplies the alcohol. Oh, he's going to meet someone cute, isn't he? She's right there. Yeah, she's super cute. You're a bouncer? Mm-hmm. Double deuce. Nice place. They send a lot of business my way. I'm hoping to change that. All by yourself? Woof. Oh, that was very flirtatious. Do you enjoy pain? Pain don't hurt. Uh, that by definition, pain hurts, dude. Pain don't hurt. She starts going to work. <laughs> yeah. Are your medical records around with you? Oh God. Ooh. He's definitely feeling something. Yeah. You've got a degree from NYU. What in? And he's smart. Philosophy. Oh. All the ladies in the audience are just like. <gasps> <laughs> and he's smart. Do you ever win a fight? Nobody ever wins a fight. Dang, he got all the lines. Yeah. You may take me out for coffee. If uh, you'd like to stop by the Double Deuce sometime. Don't invite her there. Coffee, you know. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. She's too classy for that environment. I, I know. Take her somewhere else. With that line of work, I thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> Everybody says that. You want to see I've never bigger. heard that before. You should give me a physical. Oh. <laughs> You'll probably have the same opinion. <laughs> it's a good line, though. Uh-oh. This looks like trouble. Oh, God. Did I explain it wrong? Is that it? Uh, no, boss, you didn't. Well, Pat's got a weak constitution. You boys know that. I was wondering the same thing. Well, one of you boys owes me an apology. Oh, I'll leave oh, it up to no. you to decide which one. What is, this, what is the I'm consequence? Sorry. Do you die? No, it can't be that. I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry, boss. I believe you, Tinker. But you, O'Connor, somehow I don't believe you. What? I swear to God, boss, I'm sorry. You disgust me, O'Connor. You want to know why you disgust me? No, why, boss? Whoa. No. You are a messy bleeder. You got no endurance for pain. I'll tell you who has endurance for pain. He lives next door. What happened now? This town is so sketchy. What happened? Did you get robbed? Every week. Oh, he didn't pay the, uh, what, protection fee or something? Maybe. Oh, that's his daughter? Whoopsie. So what does he take? The doctor? Yeah. 10% to start. All the businesses in town belong to it. Everybody pay? Does a hobby horse have a wooden dick? That's a <laughs> saying. I've never heard that. That's, that's quite a saying. You ever heard of a guy named Brad Wesley? No, I can't say that I have. You having trouble? Uh, you know, nothing I'm not used to. <laughs> but it's amazing what you can get used to, huh? Yeah. This place has a sign hanging over the urinal that says, Don't eat the big white men. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Damn, the way she walked up. My Look at him. Because I'm shy. working. Would you be shocked? If I said, let's go to my place and... Not at all straightforward. You know, you might even like it. I have a girlfriend. Oh. Her name is Dr. Say awesome. Night, Denise. Oh, no. Oh, it's personal now. You did that while your boyfriend was right there? She's ambitious. Right boot. Oh, oh, shit. That's wild. Got it. Oh, look at the confidence. Sorry, we're closed. Well, then what are all these people doing here? Drinking and having a good time. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no, this is a bad look. I thought she would show up right in the nick of time. Nice. 
You're not welcome here. Get out. Hi there. Hello. I saw what you did there. You're quite good at your job, aren't you? So you're looking for somebody? You. Okay, don't distract him. The man's got to work. Okay, yeah. This is slightly better. He smokes a lot. Yeah. Are you always better than they are? Pretty much. Never Usually. Put down. No. He's been shot twice, though. The ones who go looking for trouble are not much of a problem to someone who's ready for them. I suspect it's always been that way. <laughs> Poor car. I think it's what you said. He deliberately got a cheaper one. Yeah, I know. Because his Mercedes was going to get trashed. You live some kind of life, Dalton. Too ugly for you. What? I didn't say that. Mm. This is an interesting way of phrasing things. I guess they mean by character. Yeah. How do you know the time's right? You you look at her and you express the intention in your eyes. Well, maybe she's saying leave. It's so confusing. Women are just confusing. If you have haters, kiss them. You probably suck. Oh. I'm kidding. He's got a stop sign in his car. Oh. Whoa, shit. She probably just fell down. Yeah. Just clumsy. I have a cousin in Memphis. Tells me you killed a man down there. Whoa. Tells me you said it was self-defense at the trial. But you and I know that isn't so. If I owned a bar and wanted to clean it up, how much would it take to get you to come work for me? Wow. Okay. There's no amount of money. Now he's just created an even bigger enemy. Finally get this place just the way I want it. Now we're running out of booze. Why won't they deliver? Wesley, I'll take care of it. Hi. Goodness, she's like a gorgeous apparition. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Dig a hole. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no part of him that's, like, worried about the people closest to him getting hurt. Well, yeah, because now he's got someone he likes. Up there. It's quiet, and horses let me know if anybody comes around. I love it. Oh. Wow, yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> that was great. So how come you never got married? Good yeah. question. Oh. Oh. What happened? Guess I picked it was a jerk. Way. It's sort of it's like such an interesting scene because it's like he's stalking her throughout the room and she's just like walking away. And then now she's like, all oh, right, you're looking at me with intensity. I'm into it. Let's go. It, it was interesting how she was kind of moving away. He's like a hunter, just like honed yeah. in. Whoa. They did that same shot in Ghost, by the way, <laughs> of the legs. <laughs> they were like, Patrick, you know? do it. He's got such an intense look. Movies like this ruin sex. <laughs> it's like, do you have any idea how complicated the wall thing is? <laughs> like, first off, she probably weighs like 90 pounds soaking wet. Makes it a tad easier. But like, strength, concentration, all rolled into one. You could stay, Dalton, if you wanted to. I don't think so. Dang. But she's so nice. Right after pretty. you made love. By the way, I'm going to bounce. Word is, uh, you've been spending time with Elizabeth Clay. He knows all of the gossip. You know who had a thing for Elizabeth Clay? Oh, God. Who? Brad Wesley. Oh. Oh, no. No. <sighs> she hired. Future Dalton. The double douche. The double <laughs> douche. <laughs> Put them back. This bar is closed for business. It's okay, Jim. Take a break. These guys love getting their butts kicked. Can I buy you guys a drink? Guess not. Oh, yeah. Get him. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Sam Elliott. Let's get out there and... How's it going, mijo? <laughs> Mind your own business, Dad. Yeah, watch out. He's the OG. You want to fight, dickless? I sure ain't gonna show you my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That's the oh. perks of being tall. Your dick is in more easy reaching distance and time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not even worth it. But how much alcohol did you lose? Where in the f are we going now? I got somebody I want you to meet. 
Yep. God, I hope she's okay. He needs to replace his windshield. But it is kind of cool that they used it as an opportunity to get a shot of Sam Elliott like that. Yeah. Bart, will you tell me what a great guy your friend is? Not hardly. Bart, where I tell you, I want you for myself. Oh! Whatever he's saying, you can be fairly sure it's a lie. Look at the way he's holding her head. He's got the coolest voice ever. And the best hair. You're still living in the past, aren't you? Oh. Away from Memphis. A little backstory. You know that geek? Mm -hmm. That girl never told you she was married. Oh, oh, it's always a girl. And when a man sticks a gun in your face, you got two choices. You can die or you can kill the mother. Fair. He pulled the gun first. Dolphin, red place is on fire. Whoa, why? What? That's crazy. Is this a warning? Is red in there? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh. Wow. Well, he's scared. Yeah, he feels like he's next. Yeah. Oh, phew. Oh, there's red. Oh, okay. At least you're alive, red. Get those firemen in here. I want to buy them a drink. They risk their lives to save a no good f***ing draft dodger like Red Webster. Ask for a little cause you can dance, honey. Does he dance with the girl to get back at the rich dude? I don't think so. Uh oh. No, no, no. Oh, here we oh my go. Goodness. What are we doing? Are we. She's undressing a little bit. Tempting him. A lot. Bras are optional in this movie. Oh, 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 oh! No, you have a girlfriend! Get her off you! If you're gonna have a pet, keep it on a leash. Ooh! Whoa! Wow, spicy. Uh-oh. Yeah, we haven't seen this guy. Oh. This Brad guy is scum. Oh, come on! Come on! No, 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 no. There we go. Break his knee. All right. Who fired the gun? Oh. All right, that's enough. God, I think I have to do a roofing job. Let's go, boys. Your ass is mine, boy. Really? We can build it back up. I'll help you out. Nope. But you got insurance, don't you? Huh. Can you prove he started the fire? Who are you going to prove it to? He's got the sheriff and the whole police force in his pocket, for Christ's sake. I can call a friend in Springfield who works for the FBI. Mm-hmm. There's only one person around here you got to prove anything to. That's Wesley himself. Last night, that son of a bitch was afraid. Uh, how, how do you gather? No, he wasn't. What are you hoping for? Uh, the math was not mathing there for me. How'd you get that? <laughs> no! 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 Oh, my shit. gosh. No! Hold it, hold it. Oh, my goodness. He's going to wreck his whole dealership? Wow. Can you prove he wrecked the dealership? Yeah, exactly. He's such a bully. What the hell is wrong with you, Brad? You lost your mind? Hey, he's a drifter, you know. See you wind up with somebody like that. This has nothing to do with him. It's everything to do with him. You get him out of here, Elizabeth, because if you don't, he's going down. And I'm not going to lose a second sleep about it. Whoa. You got insurance, don't you? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Still feels shitty. Now that the flip-flops on the other foot has a feel. You don't need this. Tell me what I need. If you want to go, go. Get the f*** out of here and leave me alone. Oh. He's invested. I ought to stop telling you what to do. Those are not the best kicks. Maybe I ought to kick your ass. Whoa. Uh, we don't want to do this. I'm going to tell you something else. You taught me as much as I ever taught you. Okay. So? I love you, Neil. I love you too. He wasn't talking to you. I wish he was. <laughs> That's pretty wild how he caught that punch. I love Patrick Swayze, but Sam Elliott's kind of stealing the show from me right now. He had to leave, otherwise I'd be like, it's all about Wade. You came to tell me to leave. I care about you, Dalton. You don't know him. Uh -huh. Bullshit. Oh, don't get mad at her. I know exactly who Brad Wesley is. I have seen his kind many times. He keeps taking and taking until somebody takes him. 
Brad Wesley picked me. And when he did, he f***ed up. Okay. It's twice we heard him cuss. We haven't heard him cuss the entire film. I never lose. What are you going to win? Who's he this said, for anyway? You doing it for them? There's not a winner ever. You think you're gonna save these people from Brad Wesley? Well, who's gonna save them from you? Whoa! Good grief! What just happened? Why? The farmer. Whoa! He just okay. Parkour. Let's go. Is Brad just out here murdering people now? Well, he owns the town, so it's okay. Oh Jesus! He was home. Oh God wow! God dang! In his red long john PJs. Wow. Dang, he would have died. How are the police not involved? Yeah, because he's he's bought the police. They're all in his pocket. But like Maybe the FBI. Yeah, the FBI maybe. All right, Dalton. He never gets his hands dirty. That's how he gets away with it. He wasn't the one driving the truck through the car dealership. True. Let's go. Ooh. Get him. While he's down. <laughs> Why? That's such a cheesy thing to say. <laughs> Isn't that what they all say? Prepare to die. Yeah. I got that missed. There we go. Ooh. Oh. All right. <laughs> There's some sand in his eye. This music is so interesting. Oh. <laughs> It's like the composer wasn't sure what the action was going to be. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah! Uh, uh, Ouch. Jeez. Ah. These hits look painful. Yeah. I used to f*** guys like you in prison. Okay. It's an interesting piece of info you imparted on us, sir. Yeah! There we go. Break his knee. Oh. Yep. Okay. That's what we've been practicing for. <gasps> it's no, not a gun. Oh no, he's gonna shoot the girl. Way. Get it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what? what the fuck? What just happened? Where did that come from? He just like surgically removed his throat. <gasps> okay, he's I don't dead. think I don't think you can fix he's that dead. one, doctor. Yeah. Uh oh. What? She just walked off like. Is this self defense? Can this she, be self defense? She just walked off like. <laughs> like, not even shocked, just irritated. Wade or Elizabeth. What? What? One of them dies. Dang. You are a sick man. Yeah. Well, I just uh, have to flip a coin. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, God. Oh, he's serious. Oh, my God. I'd sure like to tell you how it turned out. Why doesn't he go straight to his house? They live right next door. <laughs> I know. What happened? I partied a little too hard last night. They said I was lucky. Why? I gotta find Doc. Oh no, they're going for Elizabeth. Wesley wins, man. We're out of here. That boy, me, oh. <laughs> Oh, God, please don't tell me this place blows up with him in it. Yeah, it just, I don't know where he can go that's safe. <laughs> you think we're out of here? I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh, yes, you are. Tell Let's her! Don't, now. don't be rough. Doc. He ripped a man's Man, throat out with his yeah. bare hands. Yeah. But I would think she'd be a little bit more afraid. Uh-oh. What happened now? Is he dead? No, I don't want to see this. I said one beer, senor. Oh, no. <laughs> what? You don't have to take that out, bro. Unless you're going to use you, yeah, it to kill the murderer. Yeah, he wants to use it to stab. That I'm okay with. Oh, that's good. That's a good card. Yo, this movie's getting crazy. <laughs> He's not even in the car, is he? It's like a brick on the on the gas pedal. Yeah. Is he gonna go through the wall? Oh, oh, Whoa. oh, oh, wow. That's an explosion. That would be really hot to yeah. touch. Oh, okay, never mind, whatever. Oh. Oh, he used a knife. Clever, clever. Yeah, he's right there behind you. Get the knife. 
Oh, oh go. my god! Tails again. Ah! Oh no, no, no! Human shield. Nice. Whoa! Please tell me he gets the knife again. Yeah, take the knife. We need to kill everyone him, with a knife. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh my god, death by bear? That was a very Austin Powers death. This town is big enough for both of us? Let's talk about this. No, it's not. They're not gonna have a fist fight, right? Because he's too old for that. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, we can do. Oh, they are having a fist fight. Oh, 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 my oh wow. Do you know how to use that? Wow, yeah, he tossed clearly. that properly. Yeah. That shit went flying. <laughs> oh, oh. Are you just dropped it? Why? Oh. Ah, yes. The knee comes back into play. Yep. How many times has he got cut in this movie? A lot. Oh, he was going to do his throat grip again. Why is he stopping here? Yeah, you murdered all the people crime. up to this point. I don't know. It's over! <gasps> she did it. Who did it? Red. Oh, oh everyone gets yeah. <laughs> everyone gets a taste. <laughs> You've like taken our money. Town. Yo, and don't you forget. That's it. a couple of, that's those are like shotgun wounds. How is yeah. he standing? Damn. That was epic. How are we explaining this to law enforcement? Oh, he's go away! pretend you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> I just, just lay back down until everyone clears sleep. out. Who's gonna tell me what the hell happened here? I didn't see nothing. He tripped and fell on his gun. You see anything, Tinker? Tinker? <laughs> oh, so, what a weird shot to cut to. <laughs> see no oh, evil. No <laughs> evil. <laughs> he's not lying. <laughs> this is like such a movie thing. How I, I couldn't possibly be happy and celebrating right now. My best friend died. True. I need a minute. Fun movie, fun times. I think it's interesting, like just storyline wise. I don't think I've seen too many things about a bouncer. <laughs> I actually found it quite fascinating, his rules and everything about like how to be a bouncer. Because, you know, I've been in many establishments myself. I've never really wondered about like what goes on behind the scenes but mm -hmm. here it's like oh okay that totally makes sense they are always really nice and polite they they do always come up to you and they're like ma'am you need to get off the table right now and then i go okay okay sorry and put your clothes back on and yeah no that's never happened it's <laughs> 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 about as wild as i got with Here's dancing your underwear. on the table <laughs> he just created an interesting story about yeah. this character you know I, I just feel like we don't often have an insight into this type of character in this world patrick swayze uh, I get it. Like, legend. And Sam Elliott, I get it. Legend, legend. Yes. Double legend. Legend XL. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him looking this young. And I know that he wasn't even that young in this movie, but... Oh my God. He probably came out of the womb with that kind of colored hair. He's handsome. <laughs> with the that hair. Gray, that gray hair and that, and that, the face. And that voice. Yeah, the like, voice, everything. Came out, of the like, came out of the womb was like, hello, mama. <laughs> they had to kill him because he was going to outshine Patrick Swayze <laughs> with his coolness. I'm honestly surprised they had him in the movie at all, given that everyone they surrounded Patrick Swayze with looked like half a man. <laughs> like, whether they were like too fat or just like not handsome or goofy teeth or what, like none of them compared. He was like a god amongst men until Sam Elliott showed up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we had two gods amongst men and yeah. it was just like hard to focus. So they were like, no, no, we can have him, mm -hmm. but he's got to go. I thought this was fun. That this was just a fun romp. Like it, it, at a certain point, it loses any sense of real world sense. Law enforcement comes in at the very end. Don't they always? So much death, so much destruction. <laughs> like, no one shows up to deal, like, to even make a report until the rich guy dies, which I guess that's fitting, right? If they at least tried to 
show us like a cop being paid or something. No, but they mentioned it. I think that was enough for them to be like... It's a visual medium. I need to see it. (laughs) That aside, I still need to understand why Patrick Swayze didn't just walk up to his house. Yeah, because he hadn't hadn't received the phone call yet at that point when he killed the dude by ripping out his throat, which was awesome, by the way, because they they called out, they mentioned it at the beginning of the movie. Like, I really like how the movie set things up. Yeah. And then paid, paid it, it off, off yeah. at, at the end, you know. He murdered all the bitches up in that place, oh, it, 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 in the mansion, only to stop at the last bad guy. And I'm like, why? You had no hesitation on any of these nameless goons. And on him, you stopped. There was really no reason to not rip his throat out other than, yo, it's going to be poetic justice when all these dudes murder him. Here's how you do it. He rips his throat out. And the guy's like, ah, and he stands up. And then all them people with them shotguns, you know, just for extra measure. Just in case. So they all got a piece of, a pound of flesh. I love the music as well. I thought, I thought like the soundtrack of this, just the, the live music that was being played the whole time was really, really fun. There's lots of fight scenes in the movie. Yes. And the, the fight scenes have that kind of quality to them that you used to find before. And I just said this the other day because I watched another classic film from the 90s with someone. I don't want to give away what film yet. Anyway. In that film, you see something similar, which is the way that fight scenes were conducted before The Matrix, because mm. The Matrix kind of changed everything. Yeah. People's reactions to getting hit was just different. And both are good in their own ways, right? But like here, when people get hit, if they get not punched in the stomach, it's like, <laughs> and it's, it's this like first shock and then slow motion <laughs> falling, right? Or, right? or for instance, they get punched in the face, Ugh! And they just fall over into the wall. Like, that's what we did for 90 years, and it was fine. And then the Matrix comes along and changes it all. And, and to be fair, and the, and the Matrix was taking a lot of inspiration from, like, Hong Kong cinema. Eastern cinema, cinema. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hong Kong cinema, yes. This had, like, martial arts, but from, like, the Western filmmaking standpoint. And it was fun. There was lots of good um, connects happening. There's some that obviously missed, but... The thing that it, it, you know, kind of made me feel the least comfortable was the, the constant crescent kicks. It's like Van Damme already existed, and he popularized the hook kick. He j- oh. does a, dumb, d- a jumping, spinning hook kick. He, I mean, the biggest one was in Bloodsport, and it was awesome. And here, it's just constant crescent kicks. K- crescent kick into the back, crescent kick into the face. I'm just like, it's not as pretty, though. It, it was good. pretty enough. Like, yeah. I was quite impressed by it. As someone who oh, can't yeah. do that <laughs> stuff, I was like, that looks cool. It looked all right. The, the, the throat pull thing was just nuts. It just shocked me. I'm like, what just happened? How did he do that? And then he had the 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 the, the threat at the end of the film. It's yeah, I was like, like what? What is this? We all knew what it was. Okay, we saw it happen. We saw it go down. It went by so quickly for me. I was so confused. I was like, wait, what? Oh my god, where? Did, I thought he like slashed his throat for a minute. That's why I was like. Where did he get the weapon? From? He is a he is a he weapon. He is a weapon. He is the we- he is he is the weapon. Okay, he's a lethal weapon. What I appreciate is the instances of bated breath that they that they have in this movie. Like mm. what's going to happen? Yeah, you know, and it's everything. It, when when uh, they're in the car together, it's like are they going to kiss? And then yes, they do. And then when they're in his house, it's like he's kind of following her around, like hunting, you yeah, know, like no, a deer hunter. Patrick Swayze has like pure magnetism especially when he's looking at a woman it's like well a woman he's interested in well yeah Yeah. you know when he when he looks at the doctor he has a type and it's like pow he doesn't blink he's all like i'm coming for you i'm gonna kiss you and she's just like i don't think i have a choice but i like it you know he has a type they're either married or used to be married is this like in all the movies in this movie oh in this movie okay i thought this was like a blanket patrick swayze in all movies well it is kind of poetic right because the person he killed was the woman's husband he didn't know that she was married and so the husband came after him he had to put the guy down Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. uh and then here He killed all the guy's goons first and then was like, maybe I don't want to do this again. Is that what it... Oh, that's what it was? I don't know. It just came to me right now. I guess that's what it was. That makes sense. I don't want to kill another woman's man but they were not together anymore so like that's fine plus he's a dick so not that i'm saying you should go around killing dickheads but in a movie it's fine. He was a pretty good bad guy no he was great yeah like i well he, yeah because they, they set him up really well they they gave you um his perspective of a justification yeah i thought that was interesting i was 
the fight, the last fight scene was a little bit ropey though. <laughs> like I didn't know if they were going to actually do it and they went for it. And it was just like, they gimped Patrick Swayze by him having a gunshot wound. But I'm like, we've seen him do some damage. We saw him make love to a woman with 10 stitches in his ribs. I feel like he, at that point, all bets are off. Like he can do anything. He can do anything. He is Superman. Yeah. Like not only was he making love with 10 stitches in his ribs, she was against the wall. He was lifting her. Yes, he was that, lifting that, her. That required, you know, core strength. Let me tell you something. What? The doctors recommend not lifting on the smallest of stitches. I had a, like a growth or something once, and I had it removed by the uh, dermatologist, and they're like, you, you cannot do any heavy lifting for two weeks. I'm like, two weeks? It's so tiny. It's like two stitches. They're like, no heavy lifting for two weeks. I'm like, God damn. And he's picking this bitch up and putting it against the wall. <laughs> Listen, you have to do what you have to do. It would have been great if in that scene at the hospital when she was like, he's like, I don't need any Novocaine or whatever the hell it is uh, yeah. to numb the pain, right? It would have been great if when she stitched him, he just like had a tear drop. <laughs> it was a good setup though, because like, you know, at the start of the film, you're not really sure of what he's about. Like there's an opportunity for, for a fight and he walks away from it, Yeah. right? And it's like, he only does it when he's pushed to that limit. And the thing is, when he's like so calm and, and so centered, right? He's so even-handed until he's pushed to that limit. And then it's like he's crazy. Yeah, all bets are off. Yeah. Yeah. But... Then he's cussing. Maybe it's just impatience on my part. Like, I really wanted to see something to kind of indicate that he was a super badass apart from how everybody was acting around him and talking about him but mm. i guess leaving it until later and just like drawing it out was actually really good because you know back then it wasn't netflix it wasn't amazon prime right you were at the theater like you paid the money you're, you you found your seat because there was no assigned seating back then and it's you were there like that was it yeah so you were there for the ride and you were going to find out. So one way or another, you were going to find like people rarely left. I get, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. No, it's just, yeah. it's just, it's different, right? Like we're yeah. in a different time now. And so it's just interesting to kind of be like, okay, take a breath, Achara. Everything yeah. is going to reveal itself and we're going to see him be badass. I get, I totally understand where you're coming from and I would probably have the same opinion, but I don't because <laughs> I, I thought it was cool that the, they, they didn't give you what, what you expected. You know, it's like the expectation is that right out of the gate, ever since Jaws, like right out of the gate, something crazy is going to happen. Jaws right. and Star Wars are the two films I feel like kind of set that precedent. Bam, right out of the gate. A crazy action. Something super exciting. But here it was like you got the you got the. I don't know if it's ironic is the right word or just the unexpected where this guy, you're expecting him to like mess them up. He's like, cool. And he walks back in. Yeah. You know, it sets up his character as this guy who's like, I'm not going to use this lethal weapon unless absolutely necessary. And speaking of his lethal weapon, his body, I mean, it was also fun that everyone was always like, yeah, I thought I thought you'd be bigger. You know what I mean? And so it, it's kind of that must usurping been, our expectation again. Where that's we, the word I'm looking for, usurping your expectation. Yeah, yeah. where, where we're just like, oh, we, we, we always expect bouncers to be these really massive guys. I mean, go to any bar yes. these days. They're always just like, Indeed. you know, six foot whatever and 250 pounds. But, he, you know, he's a, he's a lithe man and he, you know, he doesn't look super massive i feel he can like take you out that, i feel like that had to be something that was said to him in the production or something and they're like yo we we're, just got to make that part of the movie we're gonna keep that they like I, I would be willing to bet five bucks that's not in the actual script okay you know what i mean yeah i'm not i how are we going to you still haven't paid me the five bucks from that other bet hey this video's <laughs> been over for 10 minutes <laughs> 